Whether you love a glass of wine with dinner or enjoy a beer at a barbecue, knowing how alcohol interacts with your body as you age can help you make healthier choices. Here are some important facts you need to know based on research. Check references in the description. Understanding alcohol metabolism after 50. As we get older, our bodies go through quite a few changes, and one of the biggest shifts is in how we process alcohol. You might have noticed that your tolerance isn't quite what it used to be, and there's a good reason for that. Once you hit your 50s, your muscle mass naturally decreases while body fat tends to increase. Since muscle contains more water than fat, this shift means your body has less water content overall. With less water to dilute it, alcohol becomes more concentrated in your bloodstream, which leads to you feeling the effects of alcohol more quickly and intensely. Additionally, the liver, the organ responsible for breaking down alcohol, tends to slow down as we age. This means alcohol lingers in your system longer than it used to, and a slower overall metabolism means your body takes more time to process each drink. The combined effect is that you may find yourself feeling tipsy faster and dealing with longer-lasting hangovers than when you were younger. Why alcohol hits harder as you age Because of these changes, people over 50 often find that they've become more sensitive to alcohol. Even a moderate amount can have a much stronger impact compared to when you were younger. For instance, you might notice that it only takes one or two drinks to start feeling buzzed. And the hangovers? Unfortunately, they can be much more intense and last longer, leaving you feeling groggy and drained the next day. In addition to these effects, alcohol can have a noticeable impact on your memory and cognitive function. You may find it harder to remember things or feel a bit foggy after drinking. As we age, alcohol can also significantly affect balance and coordination, which increases the risk of falls or accidents, something you really want to avoid as you get older. The health risks of drinking after 50. Now let's talk about how alcohol can impact your health, especially as you reach your 50s and beyond. Drinking regularly can worsen many health conditions that tend to become more common as we age. For instance, alcohol can raise your blood pressure, which puts you at a higher risk of heart disease and strokes. If you're managing diabetes, drinking can mess with your blood sugar levels, making it even harder to control. Your liver also has a harder time processing alcohol as you get older, which can lead to liver damage, including conditions like fatty liver disease or even cirrhosis if drinking is excessive. And let's not forget the increased risk of certain cancers, such as those affecting the mouth, throat, liver and even breasts. Plus, alcohol weakens your immune system, which can make it harder for your body to fight off infections. Chronic drinking can also speed up cognitive decline, potentially increasing your risk of conditions like dementia or Alzheimer's disease. The impact on mental health. For many, reaching for a drink can be a way to cope with feelings of stress, loneliness or anxiety, especially during retirement. However, using alcohol as a crutch can sometimes create a vicious cycle that actually worsens mental health. It's essential to recognize when drinking has turned into a coping mechanism rather than just a way to unwind. There are some signs that might indicate drinking is becoming problematic. For example, if you're using alcohol to deal with negative emotions, feeling irritable or anxious when you're not drinking, or noticing that drinking is interfering with your responsibilities or relationships, these are red flags. If you're mixing alcohol with medications or experiencing withdrawal symptoms when trying to cut back, it may be time to reach out for support. Seeking help from a healthcare professional or counselor can be a great first step in breaking the cycle. Tips for safe drinking after 50. So what can you do if you still want to enjoy an occasional drink while staying healthy? The good news is that with some adjustments, you can drink safely. First, it's important to limit your intake. The CDC suggests no more than one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men. But as you get older, even this amount might be too much for your body. Listen to your body and see how it responds. Another tip is to eat something before you start drinking. Having food in your stomach can slow down how quickly alcohol gets absorbed, making it less intense on your system. And don't forget to stay hydrated. Alcohol can dehydrate you, which is part of what makes hangovers so unpleasant. Drink water between alcoholic beverages to help balance things out. If you're looking to cut back but still want to enjoy a social drink, consider lighter options like wine spritzers, light beer, or even non-alcoholic alternatives. And remember, there's no rush. Sip your drink slowly and don't feel pressured to keep up with others. There are also plenty of non-alcoholic beverages that can be just as enjoyable, like sparkling water, herbal teas, or fresh fruit juices. 
Action Steps If you're looking to make some positive changes, here are a few easy steps to get started. 1. Switch to daytime drinking. Try drinking earlier in the day rather than close to bedtime. This can help your body metabolize alcohol before you go to sleep, making it easier to rest. 2. Pair alcohol with a meal. Make it a habit to eat something substantial before having a drink. This will help your body handle the alcohol better and reduce its impact. 3. Skip alcohol on work nights. If you find yourself drinking more often, try cutting back to just weekends or special occasions, especially if you have work or responsibilities the next day.